Good morning and welcome to 2021. I did say there were going to be videos this year. We're off to a good start. Before we begin, a quick update on the current London situation because it's relevant to this video. We are in full national lockdown, so the entire country is back in their houses, which is great. I've already got a couple of videos up on my channel already about my flat, which I will link up here and in the description, about the uh, moving in process and also setting it up and how it looked like a long time ago, what, like two years ago when we first moved in? Because we went into lockdown in March of 2020 and we were here just all the time, something that I've always done ever since I was young is like to rearrange my room and it was especially important last year because, because I was here so often, uh, I wanted to feel like I was in a bit of a different space. So I just kept moving my bed and my desk sort of around the room. And this is how it's ended up looking like for a little while now. But today we're gonna to make a much, much bigger change. Here's why. It does look like we're going to be continuing to work from home for the foreseeable future. And what that means for this flat is we don't have a lot of space. <laughs> Lots of Londoners don't have a lot of space, but what we did when we moved in was we turned the living room into my flatmate Aaron's bedroom. We turned the main room, well, kept the main room as a main room and it is my bedroom. And then the second bedroom technically was this like little room that we were gonna use as a kind of filming studio slash games room. But essentially it is too small to do anything with and usually we just have laundry stuck up there like all year round. This is currently the state of the little room. It's just basically a dumping ground. My violin, which I haven't played for years, uh, a TV and stand, which we just don't use because we're never in here. And then, yeah, laundry. Essentially use this as just a dumping ground. So we don't use that room, but I'm becoming a little bit claustrophobic and I don't want to live in one room anymore. We want to turn one of the rooms back into a living room and Without Aaron's knowledge, I was considering making him do it with his room because it's technically the living room, but it just is too difficult. He's got a lot more stuff in there and it's all sort of arranged the way that he needs it to for like his live streams and his arts and crafts and stuff. Whereas I think it's doable for me to spread out and move a, some of my stuff into the little room to become my bedroom and then leaving some of the stuff in here as a kind of workspace slash living room chilling zone. That is the plan anyway. So in an effort to work out whether this would actually work, I sort of drew a to scale drawing of my bedroom and then also the tiny bedroom. So this should be a sort of to scale room. So this is essentially the plan. I'm going to be moving, well, very importantly, my mirror, um, the shelving unit that is here into this room and also my bed. And that's kind of it. Like it's just gonna be my going to sleep chill zone. Now it looks really close with the bed, but according to my measurements, the bed and the sofa, the lengthways are actually exactly the same. And the sofa does actually fit in this room currently like this. So it should fit with the bed, but I'm still a little bit nervous. And then we're essentially gonna move the sofa in here. My desk's gonna be in here. I have a second desk, which I'm gonna try and fit in here somehow. The second desk currently looks like this. It's, uh, yeah, I kind of broke it and it's in two pieces. So I'm going to try and fix it. In which case this will become Aaron's desk, which will be in this room so that we can work together. So this is currently what my bedroom looks like in its very messy state right now, um, which I'm gonna have to somewhat tidy up. The shelves should stay, the chair is gonna stay, the desk and the chair should stay, the shelves are coming with me into the other room, the bed will come with me in the other room, and this mirror, because apparently that's important to me. Um, maybe that table as well. But my wardrobe is obviously, it's built in here, it's gonna stay, so I will just come in here, collect my clothes. There's just so much to do, I just don't even really know where to begin. I have bad news slash good news. I can't tell. Okay. There is no way that we are going to be able to do this move with this puzzle on the floor. So, um. we either have to break it up or you're gonna have to find some way of moving it. I have a lot of paper. Maybe we can like put some A4s under it. Is that the plan? Down. Is that the plan? Can I leave that with you and I'm like remove stuff from the small bedroom? Sure. Okay, right. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Get 
get the bustle legs. It may not be the most comfortable, but they sure are light. I think they're uncomfortable. I mean, it's no cloud sofa, is it? I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's so smart. Okay. All right. We now have a very echoey, empty room. We have hoovered, we have cleaned. She's beautiful. That's painful. Next, I really, yeah, I think it might be, have to be the bed. Because mm. we have to make sure that definitely fits. I'm gonna measure it one more time. <laughs> God. But yeah, let's do this. <laughs> copyright, 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 copyright. <laughs> <laughs> My room is never this messy. <laughs> this is your fault. I mean, it is sometimes this messy, but... It's, not, it's never this bad. This particular time it is us. It is... Two meters and a... In half a centimeter. The issue is like the line straight, so... So that it doesn't fit. Hmm. Interesting. This is uh, 194. So it's going to have to measure, go this way. You didn't measure floor this space, way. did you? You measured wall space. I might have, yeah. So it needs to go this way. Yeah. Fine. Well, we need the mattress out of the way. So the mattress first, then the, we'll undo this, mm. remove all of that, and then everything underneath. <laughs> went really really well trying to think back on it because it's been a while now uh, I think it took definitely most of the afternoon but yeah it was a great cleaning fest tidying fest sorting fest and now everything is in its rightful place so the first room I want to take you around is the small room which is now my bedroom and as you can see it is definitely a tight fit in here the original intent was to have the bed kind of width ways across the room so that I would have a lot more space but yeah, we definitely forgot about the ledge being here. So unfortunately, the bed was not going to fit that way, but it does fit the other way. And actually, I quite like it the way it is now. Turns out I really don't need as much room as I thought, but I have to tell you, being able to utilize two rooms has been an absolute game changer this year. It's literally the best thing that we've done in 2021, probably also of 2020. <laughs> the other benefit I found of having a very small room without having much in it is the fact that it's actually kind of hard to mess up. I'm definitely a lot tidier. There's not an awful lot of space to uh, wreak havoc, shall we say. The only thing that's not particularly great about this room is the fact that it does have these blinds still. So actually when we moved in, there were blinds in every single room, which is a little bit weird for bedrooms. So we took those off and we put up a curtain rail instead. In this small room, I just cannot be bothered to do the same thing. So I've left the blinds up and instead we're using a shower curtain to hold up my curtains. After about a week of being in this room, I also remembered that there's a reason why there were holes in my wall and that was because there was a shelf unit in here when we moved in, but we took it out. So all I did was put it back in again. Okay, it's not the prettiest shelf in the world, but I took some frames off of my wall in the living room that were being hidden behind the shelving unit in there, put them up in here, put a few other decorative pieces on, and it's just kind of put something a little bit extra in this room, and I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Although I absolutely love this new little bedroom, my favorite room is now definitely my bedroom turned into a living room. So let's go in there now. <laughs> Welcome 
into the living room, the thing that has made me very, very happy this year. Let's go through some of the changes. I was able to fix my old desk, which is awesome. It could probably never be taken apart again because it's all glued together, but it works and that's the most important thing. It's now Aaron's desk so that he can sit and work behind me during the day. It creates this kind of office atmosphere that I was really, really missing working from home. It makes such a difference to have someone else in the room while you're doing work. Like, oh, I really needed that. He's repurposed an old corkboard that I have with photos for inspiration about his photography and filmmaking kind of hobbies. Works perfectly well for him. The desk isn't as big as mine, but you know what? That's what happens. He does have like three desks in his own room. So if he really needs to spread out, he just goes in there. On the other side of the room is my desk, my gargantuan desk from Ikea. It's brilliant. I try and keep this as tidy and as minimalist as possible because it really helps with my workflow. My desk was a standing desk with a tall bar stool if I wanted to sit down. I have now lowered it and I'm now at the same level as Aaron sitting. Not that that was necessarily the reason. I think I just wanted to change things up again for how I sit. If I sit at my desk and feel like I'm not being productive again, maybe I'll raise it up and try and fool myself. My wardrobe is still my wardrobe. It's built in so I couldn't move it. And there's definitely not enough room for a wardrobe in that small room anyway with a double bed, but it's actually not been a problem at all. Just coming in here, grabbing some clothes and going back in there. And then we have the second half of the room, which is the actual living room space. And this has worked really well for us. I'm so glad that it all fit in according to my plan. So I at least got this room correct. <laughs> we have our sofa up against the shelving unit because my projector is still on the shelving unit. And this means that we can sit here and project movies, TV shows, YouTube, anything that we want onto the blank wall opposite. We also have my swivel chair in here and it's become a bit of a reading nook with this little uh, bookcase that sits opposite, but also our napping chair. We take some good naps here. It's been great when I'm at my desk and I've been at my desk for a while to think I need to look something up. Actually, I'm gonna go and sit over on my swivel chair or sit on the sofa or go back to my desk. We now have options and I need options. I hope that you can see that this was a really good idea because I really think that it has been. In fact, we've now lived with this for just over a month and it's really been life-changing, which sounds dramatic, but it, it honestly has. I felt so much more positive working in a different space to my bedroom and then also working with someone else in the same room. We spend a lot more time together as well, Aaron and myself. And so spending time with someone else so I'm not on my own quite so much has been really good just mental health wise. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like if it's brought you any joy today and I will be back with a new video soon. This has been That London Life.